Hi, this is Robert from Part Fusion Electronics. Continued on with my giant LED. Since the last video, I've taken the 3D printed legs. I used XTC to fill up the surface. So I got the surface to a really fine finish. It's not particularly shiny, but I'm, I'm very happy with the results. Using black tinted XTC, you can see that there's a grain that has been filled in. I also then used some green tinted XTC to kind of make sure that I filled in all of all of the imperfections. So now that the legs are done, I got a, a different surface mount LED. So this is a PLC C PLC C two LED. So it's got a, a fairly high brightness, but has a much wider throw, like 120 degrees, than this five millimeter, which I think only has about a, a 15 degree. So now that I have my kind of finished master legs and a suitable surface mount LED board, what I need to do is fix these two pieces in the right dimensions. But what I chose to do is I made this frame up using some 3D printed pieces. So what I've used is I've used rods going through the 3D printed end pieces and they support the legs in the correct dimensions and keeps the surface level. So what I did is I used um, plasticine to put a make a two-part mold. So I put a layer of plasticine down and accurately cut in around this, the edges and built up a wall. Up. And then I was able to pour half of the silicon jacket and then I removed some of the plasticine and I re reset the plasticine. I was able to pour a resin once those two had hardened appropriately. I was able to flip half mold over, remove the plasticine, re put in a wall, pour a second half of silicon, and then once that had hard had cured, I was able to do a second resin. So what I then had was a white silicon jacket or resin jacket and then in a silicon mold so figure out you can see the silicon picked up all the details i don't think plasticine was the correct material to use you can see the i wasn't able to actually get to remove some of the plasticine imagine i will have soldered this board to the legs and cut the legs down to a shorter length I put rods in here to support the this end of the leg. And then I can close up the mold box, clamp those pieces together, and I now have fill holes that I can use to inject the resin into place. I left these little gaps in here to help with seeing if the how the filling has been progressing. So I went ahead and cast the new legs with a this time I used a silver powder incorporated into the resin. I also cast the clear resin dome. You can see so all the details. So if I connect this up to a power source, you can see there. Again, the resin is still too clear. Most of the light is being projected out of the LED. I think if I get a pressure casting set up, I'll be able to get to the point where there's no bubbles. So my next steps is I'm probably going to produce a slightly different version of the, of the PCB. I don't need the, the signal diode, so I'll probably remove that. One big iteration step I need to do some work on is I'm not really happy with the clear resin, so I'm going to try mixing in some pigments, different different concentrations of pigment to get a more diffused effect. If you have any comments or questions, they can be asked in the comment box below. Please like, subscribe, share on social media. Thank you. Bye bye.